Okay, here's a question no Christian can answer. I've even asked Rabbi Tobias, yet yeah, the Jews for Judaism side wouldn't, yet yeah, those motherfuckers would not ask my question. Why? Why do both Christians and Jews keep running from this question? Listen to the damn question first. And I curse God I can't get an answer for this question. If you don't have kids, I'm going to assume that you do. Because you strike me as, as someone who would, who would have children. Uh, if God told you to take your son to the top of the local mountain and kill him to show your devotion to him, would you do that? I'm not answering hypotheticals. You're talking this, about this like isn't a Abraham, Abraham, correct? Yeah, it's not, it's not a hypothetical, yep. right? Because God told Abraham to do that. So would you do that? Well, if God told me, I'll answer the hypothetical. If God told me to do something, then okay, sure, absolutely. But keep in mind that this is just a hypothetical, so we can't use it as a gotcha. But he did, in the story of Abraham, have Abraham do what's recorded in the story. But you will also oh. notice what happened, what's the oh. ending of the story. What's the ending of the story of Jephthah? There you go. The story of Jephthah. Now, he vowed a vow to God if God would help him beat his enemies. He was fighting a war. He vowed a vow to God if you help me defeat my enemies, I'll sacrifice the first thing that comes out to you. And his daughter came out and he sacrificed her. Well, the ending of the story. Of story I like that he because, won't answer yeah, my hypothetical. I know what you're about to say. Mine was in the, the same thing. It was the same thing. God in the story of Abraham, <laughs> it, David, in the story of Abraham, yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. At the last second, he stays his hand and says, don't yeah. kill your kid. But in the story of Jephthah. Because he puts a ram there. Yes. Right? Like, yes. a ram instead. Yeah, he finds, a, he finds a ram tangled in the bush and they sacrifice that and said, yes. But in the story of Jephthah, Jephthah prays to God and says, if you let me win this battle, I'll sacrifice the first thing that comes out of my house. And God helps him win the battle. And when he goes home, the first thing that comes out of his house is his daughter. And he goes through with it. And God makes him go through with it. So child sacrifice for God does happen. And God does command it. How do you explain this? Jews, Christians, I curse God for this. I curse God for this. So, yeah, you're right. The story of Abraham got a little twist ending there. And now, you know, Isaac just has fucking psychological trauma for his whole life, I guess. But in the book of, in the story of Jephthah, absolutely. He sacrifices his daughter to God, and that's what God tells him to do. Was that good? Was that a moral good thing? Hell no. Well, anything that God commands someone to do is going to be perfect. Now, this, this, uh, the problem of good... Is it good because does God command it because it's good, or is it good because God commands it? If God is God, both A and B. But what I'm seeing today, I'm disgusted with God. I believe in Jesus, but I'm disgusted. It makes me doubt whether He's real. There are times. So killing his daughter was the right thing to do. Yeah. Fuck you, God. Fuck you. Fuck you. Whenever God commands us to do something, there is a valid reason answer for doing it. We may not understand. Just answer the question. Answer the question. Just answer the goddamn question. Quit beating around the goddamn bush. Was he right to kill his daughter? Was killing his daughter the right thing to do? I'm answering the question, but I need time. Ho, hum, him, ho, him, ho. Answer the goddamn question. The finish. No, because it's a yes or no I need question. You, give me a direct you need answer. one syllable, dipshit. Yes is one syllable, no is one syllable. No, we know, we know what the answer. We know what the answer. Dipshit. We know the answer. Now, some people say that that meant he didn't actually sacrifice his daughter, but he... Treated her as though he would have by not letting her get married. In other words, vicariously dead. I don't know. In other words, she could she could not marry. She had to stay at home. She had to act as 
if she had actually been sacrificed. Show me the fucking evidence, god damn it. Show me the habeas corpus bitch produced a goddamn body. <laughs>